Exploration has led to a significant amount of debris floating in outer space, increasing the risk of collisions. The Biden administration is looking to take steps to clean up the mess. In space, what goes up does not always come down. After decades of launches since the dawn of the space age, Earth's orbit has become a junkyard of dead satellites and abandoned rocket bodies. And any time two objects traveling at about five miles a second collide, the impact could look like a scene straight out of the movie Gravity. In real life, no people in space have ever been hit, but the International Space Station has. In 2016, a small piece of debris cracked a window on the orbiting outpost, and in December, its crew prepared for an emergency evacuation after a Russian anti-satellite missile test created a massive debris cloud. We will need to activate Dragon Safe Haven. Today, U.S. Space Command is tracking more than 40,000 objects in space, and only about 5,000 of them are active satellites. The vast majority of space junk still in orbit is from the two major players in the first space race, Russia and the United States. If these spacecraft were left there by the U.S. government, and in general they were, um, then that becomes their responsibility to clean it up. And in the same way that the military would not leave a broken down tank on the battlefield, uh, nor would it go ahead and, uh, and leave a ship, um, a derelict ship at sea. But so far, the effort to clean up space has been led by Japan and the European Space Agency and private companies. Some companies like ClearSpace are trying to grab debris with robotic tentacles. Others are trying to catch it with a massive fishing net. And in August, a company called Astroscale successfully tested capturing a small satellite with a magnetic arm. We use a robotic arm that extends and attaches to that metallic plate that allows us then to uh, basically perform a tow truck or a tug service, bringing that satellite down to a safe distance, and then we can release it to naturally and safely burn up in, in the atmosphere. Astroscale caught the attention of the Prince of Wales, who visited its UK-based mission control this week. The company now has debris removal contracts with the UK, the European Union, and Japan. In the U.S., unfortunately, we haven't seen and we haven't gotten as much traction from the U.S. government. But the Biden administration is starting to change that. In January, the White House held meetings with experts about how to clean up space. And the Space Force is launching a program called Orbital Prime that will give companies the seed funding to do it. Our vision in this partnership is to aggressively explore those capabilities with you today in the hope that we and others can purchase them as a service in the future.